Hello, my friends. I am here with truth for each day, the resurrection and the life. Arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you life. Ephesians 5, 14. The great question of ages has always been, if a man dies, shall he live again? The first part of that sentence fulfilled every day. There is no if about it. It is appointed for man to die once. Hebrews 9, 27. So the question remains, shall man live again? There are those who say that all there is to us is just bone, flesh, and blood. They say that when you you die, you are dead, you die. Nothing happens. You don't go anywhere because many do not believe in life after death. Their writings are fulfilled with tragedy and premonition. How different from Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. John eleven twenty five. The Bible deals with the resurrection of Jesus as an event that could explain by the physical sense. It, imp it improved, I mean, excuse me, not proved. It involved the eyes, for the disciples saw the numerous appearance of Jesus under every conceivable condition. The res resurrection involved the ears, for the disciples, disciples heard Jesus in conversation. It involved the touch, for the disciples were told to handle Jesus and to verify his physical reality. This is the base of historical fact for our belief. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes, for the physical body and death. Yes, but when Christ says, Arise, all mankind will obey. So in other words, when we die, we go to heaven. Not the bodies that we have here on earth. Those go back to the ground. We have new bodies there in heaven. So when we die, this is think of a story of chapter. This is... When we die on earth here, that'll be end of chapter, one chapter for us, and beginning of a new chapter in heaven with our new bodies. Well, those new bodies will last forever. We will never die. We will never perish because they'll last forever. And we will glorify God and be there and glorify his name and praise his name all to come. I'm looking forward to that, man. I really think that's awesome to hear about that because I can't wait until I go home but my work like everybody else's work as believers is not done here when our time our time is time God will call us home and right now my time's not now not now I don't know when my time is going to be that's another thing you don't know when your time is going to be but when it happens it'll be wonderful because you'll go home if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, that's why I recommend people who are not believers in Jesus Christ accept Jesus, as, accept Jesus in your heart. Because we want to see as many people, as believers as we are, we want to see many people go to heaven. And we are fighting a battle right now, spiritual warfare. So, anyway, that is that uh, thing for today for today that chapter and the devotional for today so I'm, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pray dear Heavenly Father help this wonderful message reach people help them realize that even when they die if they're believing if they're a believer in Jesus and accept Jesus in the heart they know that that is not the end that's just the beginning of a brand new wonderful journey Excuse me. Coughing. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Excuse me.